All right, this video is just going to go over uh, a few features of GeoGebra. In particular, I'm going to look at how to plot some points. Um, then I'm going to look at how to put a function, uh, plot a function, and then uh, take a, a screen capture of a little piece of the screen, uh, and then you can use that screen capture as a picture and insert it into uh, into any kind of document that you have. So the first thing is how do we plot points? And we're going to be doing this just using the input part down here. So the input bar can just take any number so uh, if I just put in uh, 2 comma 3 that's gonna plot the point 2 comma 3 uh, if I wanna put in uh, the point uh, 4 7 uh, 4 7 now you see that 4 7 isn't showing up here that's because it's outside of the viewing window however if I just drag the screen around uh, it'll come into view there alright so plotting points that's how you plot them you just put them down in the input bar uh, if you ever want to change a point you can double click on it over here and then you can redefine it um, if I want to put a function in so let's say uh, we've been working with the sine function in class so if I just want to plot sine of x I'm just going to type sine of x down here and it plots the function and it also uh, shows me over here that the function is sine of x and again if I want to redefine it so let's say I wanted to make this um, three times the sine of x I would just go over here double click change it and then and then hit enter so I just change that to three sine of x so that's how you can pretty quickly plot points and also plot a function um, then if I want to actually export a picture of this function so let's say I'm going to go over here to the pointer tool Let's say I wanted to export a picture of uh, from th from here, this little bit right here. So it's kind of a window that goes from uh, negative 1 to 10 on the x-axis, and on the y-axis it's from negative 2 to 5. So I'm just uh, clicking on the pointer tool and selecting an area, and now I go up to File, and I'm going to go to Export, and I want to export that as a PNG file, so uh, a, as a picture. And clicking on that, you're going to see that you have the option to export that. I'm going to leave it as a scale of 1 to 1. Uh, leave it as 600 dpi. That'll work fine. And then um, I'm going to click off transparent so that it's going to have a white background, but that shouldn't really matter. And then you just click save. And then this will allow you to save it right on anywhere you want on your computer. Um, so the other thing that I think is probably going to be helpful, if you haven't figured out how to find a maximum or minimum on your calculator, uh, GeoGebra will also do this. And so the way that you find a maximum or minimum using GeoGebra is that you're going to use the maximum function. Uh, so this is a tool that's built into GeoGebra. And what you do is you type uh, maximum down here. And when I start typing max, uh, it's going to drop down a list of available options. and one of the the fourth one down on my list says max and then it's got this thing for function x start value x or end x value so the function name is f it's just called f so i'm just going to make that f uh, the start value let's find a maximum between uh, one and three so i'll make the start value one and the end value three and then just hit enter and you can see that it's given me a point for the maximum and then it's also plotted that point. And now one thing that's nice is if I redefine the function, so let's say I redefine the function as uh, 2 uh, sine of x, you can see that the, uh, the actual maximum point also changed. So whatever I do to the function, it's going to keep track of it. And again, you can just export this into your file. So that's just a very quick video on how to plot points, uh, plot a function, and export that as a picture and also how to find uh, the maximum using GeoGebra.